anything I want to save from the next pour, or the first pour, obviously, in this case, you're going to mask it out. Okay, I've gotten this gal pretty well covered. This lady sitting here has two sneakers, white sneakers, but I'm only going to cover one of those because the other one is in shadow. You want to make sure that mask is nice and fluid. White mask, or any of the masks, have a very limited shelf life because of the nature of their composition. So always open up the jar as soon as you get it and make sure that it's white. Uh, and you can see, I, well, maybe you can't, but anyway, it's very liquidy, like 2% milk. You don't want to use it if it's the least bit yellow, off color. It will always have a little bit of an odor from the ammonia, which is the binder in there. Let's go like this. And you've got to pour fast. You know, you, you don't want to wait for that paper to dry here and there. And you'll notice I'm not pouring the yellow everywhere. I'm just pouring it so that it has even a little bit of white paper in there. I will go in and we'll add some reds. I told you this was going to be a warm painting. I think what I'm going to do is add a little more water with that. Even though I tested it, it's coming out a little stronger than I had anticipated. So let's just go in here and we'll add a little bit more water to that. Can you see what it's doing on the paper? It's doing wonderful blends, beautiful blends. So let's see what happens. We'll just go in here and glaze a little bit. I know you're saying, oh, you're covering up all that beautiful color. But hopefully it's, whoop, that's getting a little dark in there. Yeah, let's go over in here and clean that up a little bit. It's still transparent color. We don't want to totally cover up what's underneath. It's still there. It's still sh hopefully shining through, going right over the top of this gal because she was coming forward too much. Going down in here. Don't want to have a line in there, so we'll keep on doing that. Go over in here quickly so we don't get a hard edge in here. It's interesting to see when you glaze over the top of the colors that are underneath there and what they do. Here again, if you keep going with warm on warm and cool on cool, you should be keeping a very clean color 